welcome back to another TechMinds video. Now in this video, we're going to be taking a brief look at the Electa SDR hands-on kit and book. Now make sure you watch the video to the end as I'll be letting you know about a one-off special offer, which will get you one year's green membership for the online version of the Electa magazines for just 10 euros. Now this SDR hands-on kit contains a book, an SDR shield to be used with an Arduino, it contains a T80-2 ferrite ring core, a two-hole ferrite ring core, and 25 centimeters of RG174 coaxial cable. Now the coax and ferrite cores can be used to make a variety of things that's covered in the book. This is the SDR shield itself, and as you can see, it's very well built. The kit also comes with the Arduino headers, so if you want to mount the SDR shield directly onto the Arduino, you will need to solder the headers onto the SDR shield board yourself. The shield also has connections for audio output via a stereo 3.5 millimeter jack, and it also has two antenna connections, one for receiving and one for transmitting. Now you will need to supply your own board pins for the antenna connections, but they're pretty easy to source. Now, as mentioned earlier, this kit comes with a book. Now this book is full of fascinating projects and information all based around software defined radio. Now to mention a few topics, the book covers practical shortwave reception, signal to noise ratios and interference, and antennas covering wire dipoles and ground plane antennas. Now, as we go through the chapters, we see information about tuning software, digital modes, and building WSPR and QRP transmitters. There's also a section on how to build a low cost 200 milliwatt RF amplifier from just a handful of components. Now, for anyone interested in SDR and RF, I would definitely recommend this book, even if you're a beginner or an advanced user. Now, as this SDR shield requires an Arduino, I'm going to be using an Arduino Uno. You can also purchase this from Elector's online shop at the same time you order your SDR shield. So let's start putting this together. First, we're gonna solder the included Arduino header pins onto the SDR shield, and then we're gonna attach four more pins for the antenna connections. Now, as mentioned earlier, there's a separate receive connector and also a separate transmit connector. So once you've soldered the header pins, just take a moment or two to check the soldering and make sure that each pin has been soldered correctly. We are now ready to mount the SDR shield onto the Arduino Uno board. And once you've made sure all the pins are aligned correctly, firmly press until the SDR shield sits snug into the Arduino header sockets. You will notice there is a three to four mil gap between the Arduino header and the SDR shield, and that is because of the length of the pins. So don't try and force it down too much. And once it's together, we're now ready to connect our cables. So firstly, on the right, we have a 3.5 millimeter stereo audio cable going from the SDR shield audio socket. And this goes off to the mic or line input on your computer. We then have the antenna connection, which as you can see here with the orange wires, these connect to the receive antenna connection on the SDR shield board. And then that goes off to my NFED half wave, which I showed in a previous video. Lastly, we have the USB cable, which connects between the Arduino itself and your computer. Now you will notice there's a power connection on the Arduino. That's not needed in this example because the Arduino will take its power from the USB cable that's connected to your computer. We are now ready to install the software, configure it and start listening to some signals. The software we're going to use is called G8 JCF SDR, which is a free download from the G8 jcf.uk website. Now, once you've downloaded it and started the application for the first time, you're going to need to select which COM port the Arduino is connected to. So make sure your Arduino is connected to the computer via the USB cable, and then head over to your device manager within Windows. Scroll down until you see COM ports, and then the COM port that the Arduino connected to will be listed. Make a note of the number. In my case here, the Arduino has assigned itself to COM port one. So back into the SDR software, we set the COM port to channel one. Click on the configure button on the bottom right and select the serial tab and then change to the correct COM port. We also need to tell the software which audio channels to use. For the input, I'm going to select my line in mic input and the output will be to my PC speakers. Now one last setting is the SDR model. Now we find this over in the general tab. Make sure that this is set to Elector SDR shield. Once set, click apply and then OK. We can now power on the software by selecting power on at the top left hand corner. As this is the first time this software is connected to this particular Arduino, the software recognizes that the Arduino needs to have its firmware updated with the correct version. This will be done automatically and will need to be performed before the software will communicate with the SDR shield via the Arduino. The river reason my QTH uh, is uh, two days uh, 
beautiful river, in approximately 180 degrees. 180 degrees is uh, the big, uh, big sunshine on uh, on my QTH. Is uh, just uh, just a problem. Is uh, stay uh, stay at home for me. Uh, back to you, Mark. Mike One, Alpha Echo, Charlie Fox Four, Hotel United, and November. Over. Yeah, Fox 4 Hotel United November. It's the same in the UK. It is uh, between 15 and 20 degrees, depending on the day. Beautiful weather, beautiful weather for the UK. And we're in lockdown. <laughs> you know when we're released, it will rain. Yeah, we guarantee it rains when we're all allowed to go out. <laughs> OK, I won't hold it, Julian. Many stations calling you. Now, as you can see, this software works very similar to other SDR software, but with a main difference that we need to feed the SDR Shield's IQ output directly into the computer's sound card so that this software can decode it. The software controls the SDR Shield's frequency via the Arduino. Now this SDR Shield supports 0 to 30 megs on receive, but one other cool feature is that it can also transmit, with a power output close to 10 milliwatts. One of the examples in the book that comes with this kit covers on how to use this particular shield as a WSPR transmitter using a different version of firmware, which you can customize before uploading it to the Arduino. As WSPR requires a real-time clock for transmission timing, there is also a basic Windows application to control it too. Now, if you guys find this interesting, I might create a separate video on how you can actually get that working. Now on the Elector Store product page for the SDR Shield, you will see some downloads one of the downloads is a zip file which contains a few Arduino sketch projects that you can download onto the Arduino which can then control the SDR shield. You'll also be able to see the raw code and have a look and try and figure out and learn how these things work. Now as mentioned at the start of the video, Elector has a special offer just for all you TechMind subscribers. This will give you one year's Elector Green membership in which you will receive six editions of the Elector magazine in digital format You'll get unrestricted access to the Elector 1980 to present day archive. You also get full access to the Elector Labs community, and you'll also receive at least 10% member discount if purchasing products from Elector.com. You get all this for a mere 10 euros. Now, this special offer runs until the end of April, so be quick and check out the link in the description of this video, or just enter the coupon code TechMinds0420 when ordering your membership on the Elector website. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all the team at Elector, and if you're nuts about radio, SDRs and RF just like I am, then it's definitely worth checking out the Elector's magazine. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions or would like me to cover more on this SDR shield, then please feel free to leave a comment below. Until the next video, guys, you take care and stay safe. Thank you.